They have a popular restaurant. They always have long lines out the door. The wife, Helen, wants to sell the place and retire. The husband, David, wanted to work until he died. The daughter, Grace, was just there part-time. She also works at a boutique. When the family was asked about the fire, Helen said she was worried about the rice cooker. She has this old rice cooker that's been on the fits lately. She held on to it for sentimental value. She was now scared it caused the fire, and once she said that out loud, her husband got angry with her before storming off. Severay returned to the scene. He found the rice cooker. It exploded. It didn't just caught fire. It exploded into pieces, and OFI has no idea how that was possible. Back at the firehouse, Chief Pascal spoke with Marsh. He asked Much to do his lieutenant's test. He said a spot might open up soon. Much went to Kid. He told her about that conversation, and she confessed she was scared she was on the chopping block. Pascal has never liked her. Kid thought she was about to get transferred if not fired, and so Much went to bat for her. Much went to Pascal's home. He showed up with Kid's file. He proved that Kid has been a great firefighter from day one, and that the problem didn't lie with her. Severide, meanwhile, found evidence that someone poured paint thinner into that rice cooker. They turned it into a bomb. Ofi also learned that David tried to take out a second line of credit on the house. The restaurant wasn't in trouble or anything. He just needed some extra money for some unknown reason. And that was enough to suspect him of arson. Chief Pascal later returned Damon to the floater pool. He came to see that Kid wasn't the problem. Only Violet didn't have to worry about her text. Carver never saw it. His new girlfriend deleted it. She also warned Violet to stay away from her man. And as for the fire, it was actually Grace who said it because she didn't want her parents to fight anymore. All of this within a span of days and Damon was ticked off at Severy now 